Conservatives keep saying that they're trying to protect children by not acknowledging that, you know, gay and trans people exist and why somebody might have two mommies or two daddies. But they're going to argue that age of consent is a bad thing and now they're passing laws saying that you can get married at any age? Hmm. SM marriage law is up for discussion at the Tennessee State Capitol. Tonight, News 2's Gerald Harris explains the bill would eliminate an age requirement. There are concerns this could open the door to sex abuse cover-ups. It's a common law marriage bill that's raising some questions. Here's how the bill sponsor describes a law being considered that would add a new marriage option for Tennesseans. So all this bill does is give an alternative form of marriage for those pastors and other individuals who have a conscientious objection to the current pathway to marriage in our law. But missing from the bill are age requirements, opening the door for possible child marriages, something the bill sponsor... There is not an explicit um, age limit. Acknowledged during a Children and Family Affairs subcommittee multiple times. So what in your in your legislation would stop a 16 year old from going down with someone else to the courthouse and getting this done since there's no age restrictions within your law again i believe the way this legislation would be construed with the courts and based on the common law uh, pathway i think it would be construed that minors would not be able to um enter into this assumed we're, so we're going to take the assumption that they would not include minors in this well yeah. everything on every bill up here there's a bit of an assumption because we never know what court will say what on anything representative mike stewart a democrat who sits on the subcommittee the bill passed out of says he doesn't understand the motivation he adds it could open up the possibility to cover up child sex abuse uh, it should not be there as a it's basically a get-out-of-jail-free card for people who are basically committing statutory rape. I mean, it's completely ridiculous. So that's another reason why this terrible bill should be eliminated. You add that with the fact that Tennessee's new abortion bill allows anyone to sue you if they think you're getting abortion. You know, your mother, brother, sister, cousin, neighbor, friend. You know what I mean? It also allows the um, rapist family to sue you if you're getting an abortion. So again, I ask, who's trying to protect kids and who's trying to sleep with them?